the clicker and pick up your liquor. It's time for Ed's Night Party! Starring me, Ed the Stock, and my co-host, the Anna Kay. Tonight, as if we don't give you enough reasons to work on your stroke, we go backstage at auditions for the Playboy Golf Scramble. Plus, the debut of our new and vastly improved hot tub team. Keep that, that raucous applause going for uh, my co-host, Leanna Kay. Leanna! The hell? <laughs> Care to fill us in on what that little entrance is all about? Don't fit. Why are you wearing long pants? My pants are underneath my shoes. I don't know how many people were looking at your feet, quite frankly, when you were coming down the stairs. <laughs> my shoes are so tiny, though. They're sparkly. My toes are all painted. Actually, all I'm thinking about is the fact you can raise your legs like that. I'm a desk all of a sudden. What like... the hell? Are you in heat? <laughs> yes. Um, so, by the way, we should mention, by the way, that you're getting a, a lot of mail. Yes. Yes, you're uh, getting more mail than me. Hi, everyone. But then again, it's because uh, you're getting mail for three. Yeah, yeah, one and, and the pillow. Yeah, and uh, some of the mail actually is, I think, addressed to your breasts. I thought maybe we would uh, take a moment to uh, to read some of your mail. Oh, no. Yeah, you want to hear? Oh, sure. One guy wrote, I love you, will you marry me? Yeah. Then that there was, was uh, nice. my favorite, hi, I'm Sean. I was wondering if we could just talk. Oh, yeah, that one. From Mark. I'm sure you get this all the time, but I thought I'd ask anyways. Do you have a boyfriend? Regardless of the answer, can I buy you dinner? This is from uh, Jim. Having seen this week's episode and hearing about how Leanna is having trouble finding under things that fit properly, I would like to offer my services as a custom fitter of under things. Actually, he's a very nice guy. It's actually cool. I actually wrote him back. Why do you write people back? I, that was What's an the matter with you? Don't well, write people back. Oh, but he was nice. When I type to these people, I use gloves. Not even have hands. You know what? I've met some very nice people through them asking to see my tits. Really? Yeah. Well, let's get to that, shall we? It's really a breath of fresh air to see a woman on TV that carries herself with such dignity and self-respect. Do you have any naked pictures online? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Justin, you are really funny and you give the show class. Can you send me naked pictures of you? <laughs> Sam, I really respect your quick wit and how you deal with Ed. You're the coolest chick on TV. Do you have naked pictures of yourself that you can send me? They don't have to be full frontal, just your boobs would be awesome. Thanks. <laughs> then there's Jimmy who cuts to the chase. Leanna, shave, trim, or fluffy? What? He obviously didn't see the episode of the Red Bush Tea. Obviously not. Yeah, that would have answered that. Shave, and, uh, trimmed, or fluffy? This is my favorite. Uh -huh. Hi, Leanna, I'm a really big fan of the show, and I was wondering if you could answer me these questions. Number one, where is the show filmed? Number two, what is your bra size? Number three, have you ever been with another woman? And if you have, what was it like? Well, At least he's never he been. It. He's never been with a woman, so he needs to live vicariously <laughs> through me. But the interesting thing is the presumption that you have naked pictures. Do I give off that vibe? Do I give off that vibe? What, that you have naked pictures of yourself? Oh, Joanne says, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what gives me that vibe? I'd really like to know. Not that I plan on changing it. I'd just like to know exactly hey, what it is about me. You don't me. have to change your vibe. Just wipe it down. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. A damp rag. Now, uh, we, uh... I'm we, feeling flat. We, uh, we had to, uh, make some new promo photos of Leanna, because people have been writing in asking for pictures, and we didn't really have any that we could share. But, uh, the photo session went so well with so many different outfits, we weren't able to decide which of the outfits should be the official one and which should be the official photo from those outfits. Mm -hmm. We're going to open this up to uh, you at home. If you go to our website, headthesock.com, you'll be able to vote for the pictures that you think should be uh, the ones, and eventually we'll narrow it down to uh, the actual one that'll be the official Leanna picture that's gonna go on postcards to be sent out to the uh, perverts and depraved maniacs that sent her email. Let's take a look at that.
competitor yet. Yeah. The, the, high, late, the, the highlight was the lens flare coming out of my snatch. You like that? Oh, yeah, that was awesome. That was the highlight for me. It's like, yeah, that's art. <laughs> it's like a little light queef. Okay, so uh, check out edthesock.com and vote because uh, we have a little contest that we're starting. It's going to start next week, but uh, the prizes for the person who wins the contest, it's uh, the shirt and shorts oh. Leanna wore no. in the little Daisy Duke outfit. And they haven't been laundered. I'm poking your bum. Oh, that's nice. All right. Use a little lube next time. That was a bit rough. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, now, we usually... Uh, go to our hot tub sometime near the top of the show. Right. And I have to be honest with you, and this is not telling our audience anything new, the last little while, the women in the hot tub, let's just say they slightly disappointed. Oh? Yeah, because, um, hey, overbites are great sometimes. Overbites um, have a purpose. Yeah, sure, when you it's... need someone to open a beer. We've not been really happy with the women from the hot tub. Oh? We've decided to uh, create our own hot tub girls so we can pursue some degree of quality control. And uh, in doing this, we have created the very first uh, Ed's Night Party Synchronized Hot Tub Team. <laughs> and please meet Tess and Jen. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, my God, choreography. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. This is a beautiful thing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. There we you go. We would like to announce that testicles and genitalia were tearing the top. The oh. yeah. Okay, well, welcome. Oh, I got a jet. What? What's the matter? Yeah. What's the matter, oh, Tess? I got a jet. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, your turn. Oh, they're taking turns on the jets. Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> and uh, you ready to uh, meet the gentleman you're going to be in the tub with? I think Absolutely. so. Yeah, and I think so I know cool. this guy. A uh, popular local cartoonist. Yes. Uh, bon Vivant and Man About Town. I don't even know what that means, but it sounded interesting. Good Please good. welcome Sean Ward. Sean! <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. Ah, Sean doesn't know where to look. The boobs are the ass. The boobs are the ass. I didn't know we were serving cheesecake uh, today. Ass and titties. Ass and titties. Ass, ass, titties, titties, ass and titties. Big booty bitches is where it's at. Okay, I'd just like to introduce this guy. I actually met him on Queen Street several times, and I bought comics off him because they're really cute, and he writes about bunnies, and I am a queen of bunnies. So, Sean, tell us a bit about you. You, uh, you're, is it cartoonist the correct term? Uh, yeah, you could, you could use cartoonist if you like, Ed. Um, Man About Town uh, works as well. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, I'm all about having a party, having more fun than anybody. Comics is just the way for, one of the ways for me to do it. Now, no superheroes in your comics? Uh, well, I am the superhero in my comic book. Yeah! Oh, I'm in there. Uh, I'm isn't in there. that sweet? You're gonna write a little comic about this experience, Sean? You got it, Ed. Yeah. He's finally on oh. oh, my God. All right. Sean Ward, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. And you just got a little sprays. That was interesting. So uh, all the email that Leanna gets is about her boobs, yes. by and large. The email I've been getting for years is, hey, Ed, why can't we buy an Ed puppet? Why can't we buy a puppet of you? You know, there's all kinds of action figures of uh, sci-fi movies and things like that. There's all kinds of uh, stuffed animals for cartoon characters. The South Park guys have plushies and stuff. But yet, all these years, I've been around the idol of millions, and nobody has made a an Ed puppet. And this is basically because I've said no. Oh, it's a little freakish. Yeah, it's a bit creepy. It's a little freakish having somebody out there doing an Ed puppet show that doesn't involve me. I can imagine it winding up on the internet with like midgets and fat women and shit like that. And puppetry of the penis. And not that I have any problem with that, but when my career tanks and I want to do an internet video with, with midgets and fat women, it's already been done. Um, 
So we I decided. I can picture that strangely. <laughs> what? I can picture that strangely. So I decided that uh, it's time now. Oh. I've been around long enough. Okay. I've gotten past the uh, the creepiness of it. Everyone knows the original versus the copy. That's right. Right. And so I decided that it's time. Let's sell some Ed puppets. Okay. All right. So uh, we uh, we tendered it out, and they sent us the first sample. Oh, oh, here it is. This is the first sample. Oh, you're well tanned. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't right, look like sir. me. In case you hadn't noticed, I don't have the brown skin. Wow. You know, I have other attributes that would otherwise confuse you to think my skin should be brown. Oh, geez. But we sent it back and said, uh, you know, it looks great and all, but you've got to make the uh, the skin gray. Okay? This is what we get after six oh. weeks. Whoa. Well, something's gray. Yeah, I look like Uncle Ben <laughs> from the converted rice. Uh, obviously, the instructions were received a little wrong. Finally, um, weeks later, we did get a, uh, a proper sample. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The official yeah. Yeah. Sock Puppet. Oh. Yeah. You can get the out of there now, Barry. Um, but these things are selling like hotcakes. By the time the show airs, they'll already be sold out. You have to go online to headthesock.com to get my little secret stash of them. Ah! What am I missing? What's going on in the tub? The new hot tub. It's a catfish! <laughs> I'm trying to blow bubbles over here, and this guy's fishing on my girl. <laughs> Well, it gives new meaning to the fishing hole. The new hot tub club, grand opening, grand closing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like a reverse crying game. Don't do that, that's look, just too a freaky. Totem pole. It's like a totem pole, don't yeah, do that. Look, that's look, too look, freaky. Look, look, look. Hey, what are you look, doing? I don't know. Now this is look, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Let's go to break. When we come back, Yay. more on Ed's night party. Put those puppets away. They're freaking the hell out of me. Stick around, Ed Head. Coming up. Take your putter in hand. We go backstage at auditions for the Playboy Golf Scramble. Plus, more wet and wicked antics in our wank tank. So stay tuned. Hey, Ed Heads, if you'd like to send a message to me, Leanna, or for some reason to scientists, email us at our addresses on screen. And if you'd like to be in the hot tub or in the audience, email info at edthesock.com. I'm starting to think that those uh, puppets are a bad idea. Yeah, James uh, working on yeah, a spin-off. I better watch my I see ass. James with his hand up my ass. <laughs> what the hell's that? Yeah, you're gonna. You is think... there something wrong? You know what? Everyone can have them, but you. Take that from him, Barry. You think me and Photoshop is bad? Uh, yeah, Barry, take that from him. There's gonna be pictures of you on cucumbers online. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, I, I hesitate to ask this. Oh, yeah. How are things in the tub, Sean Ward? Oh my God, no, Tess they, is they, growing. They did a number on me, Ed. They did it. What number? Was it double digit? <laughs> well, in Tess's, well, in Tess's box of tickles. Oh jeez. We have got a prisoner. Yes, we do. Yikes. We do have a present for Leanna. Oh, oh. what's that? <laughs> and yes. Our slave over here. Okay. Slave boy, please give this to Barry so that he could give it to lovely Leanna. This just got really weird. This is all bizarre as fuck. Are you gonna make him bark? This is like a rave gone wrong. Oh, just that you. water and like. Let me see it. What is it? It's, it's a. It's a. Oh, oh yeah, Daddy's been bad. Oh, Daddy's been so bad. Oh yeah. Oh. Now what? Now he's on Now I'm an Ann Getty's baby. There you go. What the hell? Oh, that's 
also brushes away the ash. This is very multi-purpose. Yeah, I can imagine. Let's uh, go to uh, this week's uh, Close Encounter. Yes, let's do that. All right, let's take a look. in Toronto and inside it's the casting call for the Playboy Girls of Golf yes it is why am I here why are you here yeah come on there's plenty of that inside yeah but I need something to use as a benchmark against which I will judge all others Just taken here? All right, now you want to make sure, of course, that your skin tone is even all over, right? Yeah, so, you know, if you want, we can go. I can privately check you out just to make sure there's no nook or cranny that's missing. Uh, Excuse us. What? What? So, uh, hi, Lynn. Hi. How, how are, are you? you? <laughs> are you having fun? Uh, yeah, I'm having fun. You gonna give me your number again? Like last time we met? Maybe. Yeah, good, so I can wind up calling another Portuguese man who doesn't speak English. <laughs> nice job with the fake number. So, uh, what's happening here? We are having a Girls of Golf casting call. We're gonna have over 150 finalists that are going into the golf tournament. Hey, how are you? Hi, ladies, how you doing? Uh, anybody here want to shine my putter? Okay, let me ask the questions. All right. Okay, now you were the winner of last year's competition, correct? Yeah. I'm the winner that represented Toronto at the LA Finals, and then I ended up winning the All of North American title for the Girls of Golf. What are some things that you have to keep in mind in a photo shoot like this? In a photo shoot like this, there's very little direction that's given to the girls, so that it's up to them to be as creative as they as they can be, but also they have to know what angles are best for them. Uh, maybe what part, you know, if they they got good legs, then they want to demonstrate that. That was uh, that was number 68. I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> Now there's a bit of an exchange going on here. What's being said? They're telling her what she's got to do. She's only got a couple shots to do it in. This is where we're going to be standing. And that's pretty much the only direction she's going to get. Basically, all she knows is that they're going to be standing at a certain angle, and the rest is up to her. I'll give her an A for creativity right now. <laughs> now, when does creativity become awkwardness? When, uh, if she falls off the bike, I'd say. <laughs> As a chiropractor, do poses like that disturb you? No, I'm a gymnast too, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a gymnast and a chiropractor? That's how I ended up being a chiropractor. Can you, my neck's a little sore. Can you uh, help and me out? I've been dying to say this. A little carpal tunnel? I don't have hands, Lynn. Now, Lynn, Playboy's had a reputation in the past for liking only one type of girl. It's basically been Hef's idea of the all-American busty blonde. That's true, and when we were at the mansion, I will say that he had seven beautiful blondes at his side, but if you look at the magazine, they actually have quite a few different types of girls, and uh, the newest thing seems to be the all-natural uh, look lately. Do you think attainability is an issue? Yeah, absolutely. They have, the guys always have to think that they can get the girl. <laughs> That's part of our job. So where's the after party? At our place. At your place? Oh, you guys live together? We do. Oh, yeah. see you later. Hey, Ed Heads, if you'd like to send a message to me, Leanna, or for some reason to scientists, email us at our addresses on screen. And if you'd like to be in the hot tub or in the audience, email info at edthesock.com. You know, he, he just has a, a presence about him, you know? Our relationship was strictly platonic, you know, and he's been my friend for a long time, and he's always been really good to me. And, you know, whenever I'm down and out, he used to come over to my house and let me cry on his shoulder. Well, I guess you'd call it his shoulder. Ed's kind of a prima donna, I mean, mm. I think. Mm. He's just so... Can you get me another cigar? And... 
Ed the Sock has got to be, um, well, besides the fans, of course, my second favorite thing. When Ed's in the room, he just kind of commands your attention. The whole thing is this is a facade. It's oh, Macho yeah. Man, right? Oh, yeah. I adore Ed the Sock. He's really well endowed. This show's been back. kind of a bit off the rails. I have to say that uh, the uh, first time out for our uh, synchronized hot tub team, the very first uh, Ed the Sock uh, hired and uh, inspired team, has been successful. I'd say so. Sean Ward is the mic? king of the castle over he here. He rebelled. Uh -oh. He rebelled. Oh. Took it right over. I see there was a little drama here where the slave has taken over and uh, has now uh, turned the shackles onto his captors. That's right. <laughs> this has more plot than usual for it. And now he's doing and something now there's a puppet with a dinosaur. There. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right. You know what? We didn't show uh, the art that Sean brought. No, we I forgot. Did. Well, it's very good. Yeah. It's uh, oh, look. That's you and me, though it doesn't look a lot like you. I think it does. I don't know. I don't look at your face enough to know if that's a good likeness. Oh, okay. Okay. That's it. Um, let's get out of here. You have a thing sticking out of your rear end. You have oh, a yeah, sunflower growing out your ass. That's the only storage I have with what I wear on this show. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's enough. Like I always say, if you have everything good to say, say it often. And I'd rather be a smart ass than a dumb ass. Good night. <laughs> Second place, second place, how much money I'm never a second late. These stones are 